Uh, no, no, but uh, we can change that, can't we? Yeah, we can. So can you move the stuff. What, what stuff temperature does he do the tea glass at? I think it's around 225. I, isn't think, it? I think you're right. Yeah. So uh, just a couple of the individual builds. This was the Kickstarter part that people have asked, have asked about. You guys would recognize this guy. This was the one that started off the whole, whole 100 micron thing. Uh, we haven't really changed much of anything to it, uh, except just to remove the raft that was underneath it. Um, yes, we can pair it with black. Thank you very much, uh, DeCosted, uh, for giving your feedback on this guy. Oh, you know what? We didn't show the... Uh, huh. We got something else we, we showed. Um, printed a couple of gears. These guys do mesh and work quite well. Oh, guys, this is this was PLA we did earlier. Earlier, this guy. You know, for those people who have skyped in with us, this was the big, big print that we did the other day that didn't quite make it because of a small little glitch. So, but it's all right. This was a start stop. As you guys can see right here, we started out with one material which was yellow, um, and we stopped it, and we started printing with green, and we were able to actually print the green. There you go, uh, on top of the yellow. Did you show them the so. uh, black and? Uh, Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get to that in a second. We went through um, all of these guys are, are, you know, I guess you could say um, they are uh, evolutionary type of designs. These guys. And I'll show that to you in a second. We printed the heck out of the green. Um, we went from design to design to design till we found something that we liked. Um, just to give you somewhat of an idea, just for the material, and this is just for the material sensors, guys. Um, I mean, we you to see right here, um, which is actually kind of funny when you look at all these different prints that we've done, um, just for the material sensor bracket and the evolution of it, we, we must have gone through, oh man, 50, 60 prints, just so we would be able to create... You left out the best ones. Well, I, no, I'm just showing the evolution of this. Because we did all of this in just a couple of days. Um, which was wonderful. That was actually a nylon version. Um, and uh, some of them we started, we stopped. Yeah, but, but really, he's got to show you the good ones. Yeah, these, this is what... what failed prints. Semi-failed print. print. Another oh. nice looking one that came out. We had a right hand and a left hand one. Oh, so guys, that, that red color just... This is where we sliced it wrong. There it goes. Sorry about go. that. Nice. Alright, I'm taking the... Alright guys, hold on a second. Well, keep talking to him. Okay. Tell him, tell him That's fine. Something happened. Anyway. Okay. So now I can get back to, to what I was trying to explain before. So as you guys can see here, cover after cover after cover, Individual pieces. Oh man, that white balancing, that auto white balancing is, is killer. Sorry guys. So it goes all red and stuff. Anyway, so, and as you guys can see right here, we went through print after print, oh, print after print after print to finally come up with the correct stuff. So, um, some of these are failed prints, some of these guys actually, you know, it was a functional print. We destroyed it. Uh, this way was another was another print that we actually did at the uh, at the Turner Mini Maker Fair, and this guy actually does work. So it's just got a bunch of hairs there, so we can move that guy off. There we go. So um, besides all this, some of you guys have sent us actual prints in, and we will be printing those particular prints. Uh, we just haven't gotten to them just as of yet because we are getting on. You guys can see here to to work. John's prints all weekend. Uh, yeah, that's true. We did print them all, all weekend. So there's one print, the star. Well, one thing I did want to show you guys was actually on this on this print that you see in front of you uh, for the actual material sensors that we were going that we put together all on the cap for the for the spine. It goes on top of the engine, and then you got the material sensor here. If you look very closely, let me move this guy right there. You see those threads that are right there? We didn't we did not print those. <laughs> <laughs> um, truthfully, these little threads that you see, you see right here, the plastic is strong enough, the ABS plastic is strong enough that if you want to use a tap, you can use a tap, tap into it, 
and put your own threads into the actual material. And it does hold, and it's extremely strong stuff. So, um, that's what we did with this guy here. So, these guys, I, you know, I, I can't get it out. Not without a wrench, a 10 millimeter wrench. So, and the way this guy fits, is that this part right here goes into the system uh, system enclosure bracket. So you got a little screw that goes right there with a washer, which goes into the actual 8020. And this holds up the material, comes up and through. And then of course you got the connectors that go out into the, your uh, your main board, which lets you know if you got material in there or not. There's the switch. So uh, there you go. Come on, refocus, refocus. There you go. So, material comes up through up through this guy, up through here, and all the way straight through. So, it's just a simple switch. Nice. Okay. So you and Jay says, look at all those prints. Oh, are you still doing the dual color for the front cover on the Y arm? Uh, it's not the Y arm. It's actually the uh, the the X arm. And yes, yes, we are. Give me just one moment. I'm going to go into the other room while you guys can take a look at the prints. And I'm going to get the print that, that uh, was in question. Here we go. So, the print that was in question was this guy right here, which goes on the cap. And what we've done is that this part's green. When you flip it over, that part's black. And yes, it says hot. So we can pretty much print whatever kind of characters that you want right there. And so the idea is, is that you'd show from the back side, uh, it would show up this way. So with a nice little flashlight. There you go. And we've got some LEDs that are actually in the X-Arm. And inside the actual X-Arm um, you guys can see right here, there you go, this guy fits in just like that. So he's ready to go. Now we will be trying out a couple of different colors. So uh, unless of course you guys like the green and the black, uh, we have got no, no issue with that. But this was a two color print that we did do and was successful. Um, the black by itself is somewhat of a um, it's 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 a different type of material it, uh, when it comes to the actual properties of it than the rest of the other types of colored material when it comes to the yellow when it comes to the blue the green um, the temperature gradient is a little bit less and we believe or we think that, that the reason why is because this black stuff has a lot more carbon inside of it uh, to give it its color and it, it when it comes out at 225 versus the green and the yellow that comes out at 225 it comes out and it's almost it's almost liquid like so it's almost like it's just, just dribbling out almost like molasses and that's not a good thing so when we change the color temperature to be down just a little bit further it printed just fine which is the reason why we were able to print this other top cover in black so but we like it it works um, and we can safely now say that you can actually print with black the two other colors that we're still working with right now, filament-wise, that we want to make sure that it works and works well, is the white and the uh, the natural. The white, yes, you guys probably already saw this guy. The three millimeter white did work out just fine, but this is the 1.75 uh, millimeter type of white, and also the 1.75 millimeter type of uh, natural that's out there. Um, some people have had good success with it. Others have not, and strangely enough, it's uh, the difference between the white and the black when it comes to actually printing uh, can be quite quite significant. So, and uh, let's see, Powers USA says the same effect can be had with different thicknesses uh, of the same color. Thank you. And yeah, you're right. And Decosta says I get my best prints out of white and natural. Wow. Okay. Well, then it might just be the supplier that we've been working with and. Uh -huh. That uh, could be the big. Uh, yeah. It could be the biggest issue. So, does it print at the same temperature? Oh, that's a good question. The cost of, uh, does it does it print at the same temperature? The white and the natural. Um, the white should. Yeah. The natural actually should also. 
Okay. Uh, yeah. Yes, uh, Dacosta said yes. Okay. So thank you, thank you. Um, oh, that's the yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, not a good sign when you sit on that and don't feel it. No. Um, this is still yes, and yes, uh, Eagle and Jay does still say hot when it lights up. So, um, too many printers trip breakers. Well, the lights haven't. Gone